Hey guys, welcome to Merlin Models. I'm Justin and, and this is part two of the runner build. So in today's episode, we're going to be adding the two front pieces onto the body and all the little detaily bits that goes onto that. Um, and we're also going to modify the head to allow for a LED to be placed inside of it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. First of all, let's go over the parts we're gonna need for this episode, as well as all the tools you're gonna to need for this episode and the tools that you're gonna need now that we're gonna be modifying it that. So let's go over all the parts we're gonna need for this episode. So in this episode, you're gonna need the midsection. You'll need the head. You're gonna need the cockpit cover. You're gonna need all four of your side gun turrets. You're gonna need your main top and bottom gun turret. You're gonna need all of the main gun turret cannon barrels. You're gonna also need all of your escape pods. You're gonna need all the itty bitty small Maybe hard to see because they're so small. All the cockpit pieces, which is all the chairs and consoles. You're gonna need your magnets. You'll need a, the baggie with all the little small nozzles in it. You're gonna need your side gun bases, your side gun metal barrels, and your head side fins. That should be it for all the pieces you're gonna need. Now let's talk about all the tools you're gonna to need. So for the tools you're gonna to need for this, you're gonna need your drill, your CA glue and accelerant, your two-part epoxy, your mixing cups, your stir sticks, and your applicators for the two-part epoxy, some wire cutters, a nice set of tweezers, a file, some uh, snips, a four and a half millimeter drill bit, and a six millimeter drill bit. Now, all the parts you're gonna need for the modding of this. So you're gonna need your, that I didn't talk about, this is tools and pieces that I didn't talk about in the previous video. So for this video, we're gonna need a five volt white, soft white LED. You're gonna need a heat gun, the blue tape, in order to uh, hold the pieces together once we do all the epoxying. You're gonna need a soft like microfiber cloth, an additional set of wires. I didn't think we would have enough if I used the original set that came with the kit, so I got a new set. This is gonna be yellow and black so we can differentiate them uh, while we're wiring up the uh, Arduino. And then you're gonna need some heat shrink and a table vise. So that should be everything you're gonna need for this episode. All right, so let's go ahead and start by prepping the head cover. So sometimes in casting, the chamfers on the chamfers on the head right here don't get completely, um, they get a little muddy. So what we're gonna do is we're going to need to take our, so the fitment doesn't fit as good. It's, it's not bad but it's not as good as it can be. So what we're gonna do, set this side, we're gonna take our file, and we're gonna basically, you wanna chamfer this in a little bit. So that way you wanna chamfer it more at a nice, like 45, essentially. Just like this. It doesn't take much. I would recommend definitely checking often on how much you're gonna need. So you don't wanna take off too much. All right, let's check that. It's pretty good. So let me do just a bit more and I think I'll be happy with that. And you can also kind of sometimes need to flatten the sides just a little bit. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so let's check the fitment. All right, that 
looks pretty good. Pretty happy with that. So, all right, so I'm gonna set this aside since that's pretty much ready to go. And let's grab all the little small cockpit pieces. So these have pour spouts still left on them. So we're gonna kind of dump these out. So I brought it a little bit closer so you guys can see since they're very tiny. Um, you can still see on these pieces there have little uh, pour spouts still left on them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to cut those all off. Just like that. You probably need to do a little bit of sanding to make it nice and smooth. All right, there's one. Do the next one. Sand that guy down. And I'm just gonna kinda go through all these little pieces and cut off the small nubs. So be careful though on these little pieces like this. So these are the chairs. You can see there's actually a little nub coming off the chair. Don't cut that part off. You want to cut it right after that like larger bump. So let me cut this one for you so I can show you what I'm talking about. So you see right here, so you want to leave that nub on because that's going to fit into the small um, or inserts. These will actually insert into the cockpit itself. So you'll see there's in the cockpit, those little slots on either side of the main center console. Those will slide right on in there. So I'm gonna go through and do all this to all these pieces and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, as you can see, they're all done. So let's go ahead and start putting them together. So we're gonna need our tweezers. Let's make it way easier. And you're gonna want your CA glue. So make sure you get a nice, good, clean tip and it'll go a lot faster. So the way these fit, if you look at this little piece like this, here, I'm gonna try and see if I can show you guys a little bit easier. They're really tiny, but the smaller step down, that's gonna be the front face of the cockpit. So the back will have the console in the, in the middle one, and then you'll have a chair, but you wanna make sure the chairs are all facing in this direction. So this direction. So let's go ahead and start installing these guys. So if you look at the consoles, so here, let me try and see if I can show you. They are very tiny. So the console itself has a little bit of an angle to it. Let's see if I can show that to you guys better. See, there's a little bit of an angle. So that is actually gonna be facing backwards. So this is gonna fit just like this, right into that slot. So I'm gonna add a little drop of glue on, the, on his little nub. All right, and then we're gonna add the console to the piece. Just like this. Ta-da. And you can see how it's kind of facing, it's kind of got like a slight slant this way. The larger part is facing forward. So that is how that will fit on there. So let's do a chair next. And drop the glue. Okay, and we're gonna install that guy. There we go, just like that. Check it out, see? All right, one more chair and this little guy will be done. So I'm gonna install it from the front, I think. Somewhere by the beast. So 
and it will go in just like this. stuck to my finger but <laughs> just like that so they're supposed to look just like this let's see if I can there you go so you got the the chairs are facing towards the step down so all right I'm gonna do the other side and I'll see you guys in a sec All right, there we go. So there is both little pieces. So now that we have those done, let's uh, move those off to the side and we'll come back to them here in a sec. All right, so let's take our table vise like this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, we're gonna take our head and basically what you wanna do is you're gonna want to drill in and probably like right here, I've already started a hole just so I can make it sure that I was going the right direction. So we're going to drill in right here in that radiator. And then that's going to follow the back right here along this line. Okay, so you want to kind of see this, this line right here. You're basically going to follow this line, but starting right there. So you'll have a little bit of enough meat above it so you don't actually come through or anything. So just do your best to keep it straight and along that line. And then you're going to come in with the M6 drill bit on the back and it's gonna come and meet right to here in the middle. So let's go ahead, put our head in the vise and then we're gonna take our drill and go very gently into that hole. So take your time. Now take your time and just go very carefully. Let the drill do all the work. Don't try and force it. Okay. All right, so now that we have our, our drill in here, I'm gonna leave that there to kind of guide us on how to drill this back part. And now, just put this in a little bit so that way you can see our line. So you want to be able to like, it may look a little wonky on camera, but on, on mine, it's nice and straight and even. So I'm going to use that as a guide for my, my, my back post right here that I pre started to pre-drill to save time because <laughs> this took me, I think real time. It took about 15, 20 minutes. Let's go in here. Kind of just use this. You want to try and meet these, like, let's see here. Let's see if I can show you on camera. So, you kind of see my line right here. It's very, it's linear around like this. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to kind of take my drill bit and kind of meet the piece in the same time. So, or in, in the middle. You see what I mean? So, Let's go ahead and start. And just let it do its thing. Just like that. All right. I felt it go through. Did it go through? Indeed it did. Look at that. All right, so there you go. They're both meeting in the middle. So, wasn't too hard. Just take your time, be careful, and just go as slow as you can and just you just double check your angles. So, because you want to go nice and kind of slightly up 
So we kind of like follow this path and this will be slightly down to keep from messing anything up. Did a little bit of a nick right here, but you know, that happens. Uh, I was trying to, I couldn't see because of the camera. So, <laughs> but that gets hidden anyways with the top cover. So no biggie. All right. So you can see right through it. Let's see if I can, there you go. Right through it. All right. So let's, um, let's put this over here for now. It is very messy, by the way. Um, you will need to make sure you're in an area where you're okay getting very uh, dusty. Because <laughs> I am very dusty right now. All right, so now that we have that done, let's take our five volt LED. Um, I'm choosing a soft white. And we're gonna just stick that into the hole. Just like this. Perfect. Now this will basically kind of be hidden because of this little shelf right here. So you won't really be able to see it by looking through the front. All right, so now that we have our pigtail at the back, um, I'm going to, I don't have any soldering equipment here, so I'm not gonna glue this in, but if I were you, I would glue that in. So that way it doesn't wanna move. And uh, let's go ahead and take our wire strips. I'm gonna strip these wires. Just like that. All right. And then you wanna take your wire, clockwise rotation. I've always been told clockwise is the best, so I'm gonna just keep doing what I've been told. All right. And then I wanna take my wire that I brought for this mod, which is a 30 gauge silicone wire. Um, I got about three feet of it. Um, I figured that should be enough. It's better to have too much than not enough. So I chose yellow and black for this, um, black for the negative and then yellow for the signal wire uh, for the cockpit. So that way when we're wiring up the Arduino, it'll be a lot easier to uh, know which wire is which. So I'm going to, these won't really work in my uh, strips. So since they're silicone, I'm just going to use my teeth. So don't try this at home. All right, teeth work great. Now we can clockwise these. All right, and let's go ahead and start wiring them up. So I'm just gonna take my negative to negative and just twist them together. Like I said, if this was permanent, I would recommend soldering but I'm not gonna permanently put these in here because I'm going to solder them at a later time. And then let's take our yellow wire, put it to the white wire. All right, and then I'm gonna have it kind of bend forward so that way it'll be easier to put heat shrink on. So for my heat shrink, I'm going with this. It's just your Tektron. I got it from Amazon. You get like a whole bunch of them. So I'm gonna go probably with the 330 seconds what you want to do is just make, give you enough heat shrink to kind of cover that whole connection. So about an inch and a half is what I'm going to do for these guys. All right. Next, what we're going to do is take your heat gun and blast them. And that'll shrink them up so that way they get all nice and tight on the wires. All right. That pretty much takes care of the head. Like I said, I'm not going to glue mine in because I'm going to uh, pull it out later. So that way I can properly... Um, solder this. Let's go ahead and install the chairs into the head. All right, so take your CA glue. I'm going to add a drop here and a drop here. So really, it doesn't take much. And then take your cockpit pieces. And then you see you want to put the the lower part is going to go in the front. So the back shelf sits in the back. Take this one, do the same. The back thick part goes in the back. Once you have it where you want them, use your accelerant and let it rip. All right, so now we have the head almost done. So what we're gonna do now, is bring this back and I'm going to move these off to the side like this. We'll cinch up the head 
because we're going to epoxy in this bar. For this, you're gonna need your mixing cup, your stir stick, and your applicator, and your five minute epoxy. Doesn't require much. 50-50 mix, mix it really, really well. Remember, you have five minutes. Don't feel rushed, just take your time. And then I'm gonna put this off to the side so it doesn't get all over the place. All right, so now we're gonna take our applicator. I'm gonna kind of put it right in this little hole right here. i do a little bit there. I'll add it to the stick as well, like this. I just kind of paint it on. And that honestly should be enough. So I'm gonna just kind of set that there like that. And then we're just going to push that down in there. You have to wiggle it just a little bit so it kind of gets the bubbles out. And then you're gonna just seat it in there to where it hits the bottom. Now, I don't want all this extra stuff around, so I'm gonna kinda wipe that up. Now that we wipe that up, we're gonna set that off to the side, let it dry. Like that. Now that we set that off to the side, let's go ahead and grab our main guns. So these are the main guns, top and bottom. There you go, and your gun barrels. And then we're also gonna grab our magnets, like this. Now that we have our pieces, for the upper and lower main turret, let's grab one of our turrets and then grab one of the barrels. And you'll notice that the barrel has a very distinctive, if you're looking at this horizontally, like you get this nice and even, this has an upward direction to it. So that's, that's gonna be this left barrel. This other barrel will be as well in upward direction, but it's gonna be opposite. So then that's gonna be the right barrel. So you want them to be like this. You want them to have an upward direction to them. Um, in order to get them to fit properly, you're gonna have to do a little bit of sanding. It's supposed to be a snug fit, but it's a little too snug. So we're just gonna sand a little bit more off, off of this ring on the outside. So you see I'm not touching this or I'm not, and I'm not touching the outer ring. It's just mostly this inner lip ring. We kind of have to do a little bit of sanding too so it fits better. All right, and then you pop it in with a little bit with a drop of glue. And it looks just like that. So now let's do this other side. Um, basically what you want to do is so you can see the detail. There's a little bit small detail bits right there. So for this to fit, you have to, on this side, you have to basically like go in at an angle and then slide it in. Same with this other side. You have to go in at an angle like that. So go in an angle, kind of bottom first, and slide it in. So, but same thing. You're gonna need to sand a little bit off the top and sides. Oh yeah, much better. All right, so add our drop of glue, and then rotate that into it. Like that. All right, there's the gun turret. All right, I'm gonna do the other side and the other one and uh, we'll be right back. And there we go. So now we got two identical little turrets. So let's go ahead and add the magnets to the bottom. So same thing we did in the first video. So this time we're gonna use tweezers, it's a little bit easier. So this one has four sets on it. So you'll need eight magnets each, but we'll do one at a time. So remember, you be very careful and just do a single drop. Doesn't take much. 
Then make sure you don't get any glue on the other magnet. And then use our accelerant to solidify it. Check that it didn't seal, and then we're good to go. All right, so let's do the next one. Another drop, put it in, and accelerant. Make sure it didn't glue, we are good. Do the same thing, drop glue. And spray. All right, last one. With spray. And we are good to go. All right, so that one's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this next one and then I'll see you guys in a sec. So let's go ahead and put those off to the side and then we'll go ahead and grab our midsection. So those guys are gonna fit right here on the top and bottom. So the bottom is indicated by this level of detail and of course your escape pods. Kind of how we did it before. So this time we're gonna use tweezers because it'll be a little bit easier. So let's do a drop of glue. You wanna do one at a time. And so take this guy. I'm going to drop it in, just like that. And then we're going to, so we're going to drop it, got to drop a glue. Let's do the orientation now, since we know it's this. And drop it in. Now you got it in, see it, we're going to use our accelerant. All right. So now let's move on to our next one. Let the excellent dry up a little bit. Our drop of glue in. Get that to go down in there. Right down in there, just like that. Let's use our accelerant. All right. Last one. We're gonna drop a glue. Got our orientation. Bring it out. Drop it in and use the accelerant. All right, there we go. So they're all in. So now, ta-da. So let's go ahead and I'll flip, I'll move this guy off since we're, that one's done. Flip this over and we'll do the next side and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, now that we've got the bottom ones on, that one's good to go. So now we can just actually put these off to the side because so they are done. Next, let's go ahead and flip this guy over and we're actually gonna do the side turrets. So for these, we're gonna need our side turrets. We're gonna need our gun bases and our metal gun barrels. So what we're gonna do probably first is put the gun barrels into the gun bases. There you go, we've got all of our gun barrels. And as you can see, inside the gun barrel bases, there is a little hole, and the fat part of the gun barrels is gonna slide on in there, just like that. Very simple. So it honestly doesn't require much. We're gonna literally just do a drop of glue on the base of the gun barrel, like that. And then it's just going to slide on in there, just like that. So let's do that to all of these guys. All right, now we've got all of our gun barrels done. 
Let's go ahead and add the gun barrels or the gun assembly essentially onto the turret. So you'll see there's a fat part and a little skinny part. And then on the bottom of the gun, tur uh, the gun assembly, there's a fat part and a skinny part. You basically just do it just like this. So I'm gonna add a drop of glue in here and a little bit right here. Maybe honestly overkill, but I never be better safe than sorry. So, all right. So I'm gonna use my accelerant to hold it just like that. And there's one side gun. All right, so put that to the side. Let's do that to all of these. There's all the side guns. So all we have to do now is add the single mag to the bottom of them. The same thing we've been doing for everything else. So I'll do one and then uh, I'll see you guys in a sec. So I can finish these up real quick. So drop glue, add your magnet in and fix it. Double check that you didn't glue your other magnet. So remember just a drop of glue is all you need. So now, same thing with this. I'm gonna just put a drop of glue in there. Grab my magnet's orientation. It's just like this. And drop it in. And fix it. That'll do it. Ta-da. There you go, now you can rotate it. And take them off if you want. For painting. So, all right, I'm going to do this to the rest of them and I'll see you guys in a second. And there you have it. So that is all the gun turrets or the side turrets. So let's go ahead and flip it over. And then now all we have to do is the escape pods. And then this section will be basically done. So um, I'm actually gonna take these off for now. I don't wanna accidentally bend the barrels, which I don't think they will because they're pretty solid. Escape pods. Okay, so we're gonna kind of do this one at a time. Uh, so you have your escape pod main bodies and then you have this itty bitty packet of all the little thrusters that are gonna go. There's two on each, each escape pod. I'll show you guys how to do one and then it'll take me a few minutes to do all the rest. So I'm just gonna hurry up and get those done uh, in super fast, fast forward motion. So, all right, so we'll start with our first one. So grab your, your little nozzle. So grab, go ahead and grab your nozzles with your and then we're gonna put just a drop of glue on the end. It will not require much, hardly at all. And then you just slide that guy right into here. Just like that. All right, and then we'll do a fix. So let's go ahead and do the other side. So grab another one, a little drop of glue, put it in, just like that. Fix it up. All right, and that's it for the nozzles. Like, it's very simple. Um, I guess while we're here, why don't I go ahead and add the magnet to it uh, on one of these, and then I'll just do all of them. Same thing as before as all the other magnets we've done. Put a drop of glue in, like that. Fix it, and do it to this guy right here. So put our drop of glue in, get your orientation correct, and pop it in, just like that. Then run your fix spray. So that should do it. And then the way these are, are oriented, for those that wanna know, so you see this little detail piece, that's gonna be facing out of the ship, so towards the outside of the hole, just like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do all of these real quick, and I'll see you in a sec.
Okay. Uh, sometimes the the molds don't have a the hole doesn't fully form. So what you may have to do is, is come back through with like a pin vise or something and just kind of work it around just like that to kind of make sure you get that that hole all nice and hollowed out and then see so that should do it so let's see yep just like that so i had two of them do that to me so you may have to do that on a few of them just because they are very very small holes All right, so now that we have all of our pieces on, let's go ahead and add back our turrets. There we go. This whole middle section is now complete. Looks pretty epic. I'm really happy with how that turned out. All right, cool. So what you need to do, we're going to start the final assembly on things. So if you look in here, maybe a little hard to see. So if you look, you see the five. So there's another little inner piece in here with a four. You need to make sure they're all facing upwards. So the upwards is the ones with the turret. So the turrets is up. So make sure those are all facing upwards. That'll make it easier for when we're sliding this on to, the, to fit up with the radar section. So I've already kind of gotten mine lined up. So I'm gonna get set that off to the side for now. Now we kind of got it cleared off. Let's go ahead and grab this guy back because he should be done. Epoxy is nice and hard now, sweet. Okay, so let's remove this from the vise because you don't need to be viced up anymore. All right, so what we're gonna do, we need to install our fins, but let's go ahead and install the fins. So you should have three fins in each kit. Let's go ahead and install these fins. So you can see these like little tabs. See, it's this nice flat tab. That's basically gonna fit right up in here, just like that. So on both sides are exactly the same. So you kind of just do the same thing on both sides for these. And then the bottom tab, the bottom fin, it has a cutout for all these little detailed parts. And basically you're gonna have to do your best to make sure it's nice and straight vertical. So that may take just a little bit of um, patience, but it is very doable. So first of all, I'm gonna do the bottom fin, since it is the hardest. Add a drop of glue here. Some glue there, some glue up here, some right here. Kind of just follow that line a little bit. Then I'm going to install the fin, just like that. So now once I get it all lined up, like I like it, make sure it doesn't go past that line right here because that's, that's going to get mated up to the mid section. So once you have the fin kind of like you like it, Go ahead and solidify it, just like that. Probably gonna add just a little bit extra glue, personally, right down here on the bottom. Right along this bottom bit. But that's just my preference. And then. All right. Bottom fin is installed. So let's go ahead and install the other side, or the other fins. 
These are going to be a lot easier. Literally just a couple of drops of glue. I'll say that's probably way more than enough. <laughs> and there's, it's the same thing on either side, so it doesn't really matter. So but you want to make sure that the fins are facing backwards. So just like this. See? All right, we'll do the other side. Couple of drops of glue on this fin. And just stick it in the slot. Just a little dash of accelerant just in case. All right, so that completes the head pretty much. All set. Okay, so if you want to paint the interior, some people want to paint the inside. Maybe hold off on painting or uh, gluing this down until you're just ready and you're happy with everything because honestly, you won't be, really be able to get in there and, you know, if this is glued on. So, so let's start final assembly. So let's put this off to the side gently. Let's grab our mainframe piece. Don't need the CA glue anymore because that is going to be swapped over to epoxy here in a little bit because we're going to want to epoxy the head onto, oh, can't, can't see what I'm doing. Um, we'll want epoxy, we're going to not do any more CA glue. From now on, it's just going to be epoxy because we're going to epoxy inside here. And then on the back right here, we're going to epoxy this. Uh, so that goes and mates up inside there. So this will make sure everything is all nice and straight now. Let's go ahead and slide this in. For now, we're going to kind of sort of slide it in. And then we're going to get our head. Basically what we're going to do right now, we need to run these wires down. So I'm going to set this off to the side. Luckily, I, like I said, I gave myself enough room. So I'm going to pop off this plate right here. Then I'm going to take my tweezers, pop off the covers, just like that. Actually, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to completely pull these out. So, because what I want to do is I want to actually do what I talked about in the last episode where you put a little bit of heat shrink to kind of cover the wires as they pass through the corner pieces. So leave that out for right now. Now to do this, it's gonna be a little tricky. I'm basically gonna try and use the channel from the front and just, just run these wires along that channel till we get to here. And then we can kind of do the same thing and run them out the, the side here on the channel. I'm gonna go ahead and start working this through. I'm gonna run the wires. So first of all, I think what would probably be the is honestly is just taking our wires and just running it through here. So I'm just gonna do that. Honestly, it'd just be easier just to kind of insert this guy into its spot. So we won't glue it down yet. You'll see. So what you may have to do on mine, mine has a little bit too much flashing on this fin right here. So I'm gonna take my handy dandy file and then I'm gonna kinda very gently sand that down. There we go. And yep, all set. Looks much better. So, pretty happy with that. Oh yeah, much better. So now that we have this as far as we can here, I'm going to basically kind of run these wires through here. All right, now I'm just gonna fish them out this side. 
Just like that. And I'm just going to use this wire to pull it through. So, because it's easier to grab the head. There you go, just like this. See? Grab the head of this. So, pull this back out. So, here you go. Okay, so, before we finish pulling that through, let's go ahead and kind of line this guy up so that way we can keep, since now we have it pulled through, we can just use it as a, a way to kind of help pull this through, just like this. So remember, look through here. Like I already have mine uh, facing upwards. So I'm going to do, so I'm not worried about not having them in the right orientation. And then we're just gonna slide those in. Just like this. And then you can pull your wires more. Just like this. And kind of just slide it on. Now this is gonna be the tricky part. You wanna try and get your fin, remember in the first video, you wanna try and get your fins lined up. So honestly with this, we can kind of pull it out. So this guy needs to fit into the hole. There it is, all right. So when you try and line up our fins, this is gonna be tricky. <laughs> Just like that. So you see the fins are lined up and they're going between this detail panel and then there's a little knob on the bottom, but and that fits up just nicely. And then the front here should fit right up against that other one and I just gotta finish pushing it back. I'm just like that. All right, so what we're gonna do is mix up some epoxy. So get our cup. Equal parts. So we're gonna do, we're gonna put epoxy around this and epoxy in here. Um, put it in the cup, let's go ahead and mix it up. All right, put that off to the side. Take our little applicator, like this. And I'm actually gonna just pull this apart just a little bit and we're gonna just kind of brush it on. It doesn't require much. Just need to brush it on. And we'll go around to the other side. Right here. And paint some right here. All right. That one's ready to go, so we're gonna go ahead and slide that up. We're just gonna hold it for a sec. All right, so instead of using the tape, I'm just gonna hold it. Um, that way I can just make sure it's, it's, it only takes like five minutes for it to cure up. So I'm just gonna hold it for about five minutes and I'll see you guys here in a second. All right, now that that's all glued up, let's do the front. So let's add another thing of epoxy. Mix up another, let's mix up another batch of epoxy. Well, like I said, it won't take much. Just a little glob, equal parts of each. Mix it up. And I'm probably gonna do the same thing too. Once I finish gluing this, I'm just gonna hold it. And what we're gonna do is we're going to put it on, let's see. So I'm gonna put some inside on the actual metal joint itself, the metal rod. We're gonna put some on the dowel right here for the actual plastic piece. So if we do it on the metal rod, that'll be kind of like it glue in itself inside of the frame. So that'll be a lot more of a, it'd be a sturdier connection essentially. So like I said, we'll just put a little bit of glob of the epoxy on there. And we'll wanna do it all along this down on both sides. Remember you have five minutes, so there's plenty of time. Don't feel rushed. 
Okay. I'm actually going to put some on the back of this guy too, because that's going to meet up against that mean part. So we're going to kind of slowly get this nice and even, just like this. All right. And now we play the waiting game. So I will see you guys. five minutes all right that looks pretty good so let's go ahead and add our pieces back on so we're gonna put our turrets back on and being turrets in the bottom turrets. All right. So now that we have those on, now don't worry. It looks like it, it may look like it's kind of leaning a little bit, slanting this way. That's okay. As soon as we put those engines on, it's going to counterbalance. Check it out. That turned out really, really good. Okay, so really all that's left to do is to do the wiring on the back. So let's redo this. Basically what we're going to do, there are wire bundles. I'm going to grab some more heat shrink. I'll do one eighth. So and I'm going to basically just kind of, uh, well, honestly, I may just use a whole strip. Grab your wires, bundle them all together. They shouldn't all just fit right here in the one eighth. Yep, just like that. Boom. All right, so kind of pull them through. Be careful not to pull your dongle. Just need to leave that in there. So remember to leave, you know, a decent amount, about three inches or so. Um, so, all right. So now that we have that kind of figured out, we don't want to go more than this. So let's pull our, let's kind of put our fingers up here to kind of stop them from moving. And then I'm going to pull these nice and taut. Like this there we go so that'll be a pretty decent amount so let's go ahead and heat shrink it all right that should do it and then we can run our wires through here through the holes there we go i'm going to take our Nice little piece to kind of hide the wire and we're just going to kind of just mush it down. There we go. All right, so now we can do this down here. Same thing on the bottom. We'll take another one. Just kind of guesstimate. I usually I put it about right in the middle. So it's about, so about right there is where the wires are going to end up. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink wrap this. Shrink wrap this. All right, and then now we just have to feed it through that hole in the bottom. All right, now that we got that through the hole and through the middle, just take our back piece and we're gonna just cover this up. That's it. All right, guys, as you can see, it looks really good. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So everything's all wired up. In the next episode, we're going to be working on the engines. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys next time.